thinking of this quote, uh, I would like to ask all of you guys to think about the word, uh, the phrase, change the world. So why do we want to change the world or what drives us to change the world? And the answer would be intellectual curiosity. Uh, intellectual curiosity is a human instinct, instinct of a, psychologi a psychological term of seeing a desire that a human uh, wants to learn something or learn something or a thing or an idea or a person that they don't know. So, uh, it's hard to see. Uh, what is the life we desire? What can you change? So what is our limit? The, uh, these questions actually uh, have brought us to our community and this society as we develop. And, and this intellectual curiosity is uh, one of the common motivation of education that has not changed throughout human history. However, in terms of these aspects of technology, method of education, meaning of education, and attendance for education and institution slightly changed over periods. In 20th century, uh, 20th century had an education where teachers are centralized, where a teacher gives a lecture to the students, and students would be listening to the information and knowledges they would, uh, they would be given and uh, they used a, a method of learning which is cramming method of teaching of just memorizing all the, all the facts and the data that have been given to them from the teachers. Uh, through, through the change in education, however, in 21st century, uh, more, more like uh, different from 20th century education, 21st century education would show a characteristics of a student set is centralized where students would cooperate and collaborate with each other as a group to, to share and show their creativity through discussion and experience experience and instead of just focusing on informational studies they would actually find out and research and discover explanations and developments of ideas instead of a basic a basic idea. So, well, um, regardless of the major meaning or the true meaning of education, uh, there were some minor changes in the purpose of education throughout the time. So, in the 20th century, So, so acquiring, uh, through cramming method of teaching, uh, students have acquired knowledges and skills habits which contributed to industrial development and economic development, while in 21st century, research and creative and critical thinking have been contributing, contributing to, the, uh, to the current society, and this have uh, been a, this has been a, method of improving current social status and raising awareness of global issues in the society. Uh, in, in technology, technology, at, looking at the trend in technology, in 20th century, they, uh, we use utensils such as textbook, pa pencil, paper, notebooks over it, or film strip projectors. They were uh, seen, uh, seen as a very undeveloped technology, however, in, 21st century with high technologies, we use IT technologies such as internet, uh, tablets and phones, computers, and applications to make entertainment to be interested in education. As, as, as time progresses, in 1990s, the, the attendance rate for university was 27.3%. However, in 2010, the attendance rate for university was 68.9%, which is a very significant difference in rates. And also, this is the statistics uh, graph for the 21st century Korean students' percentage of school attendance in various educational in institutions. Uh, in 2000, uh, speaking of what we see 
the focus and the importance of education is significantly increasing. In 2010, uh, st the statistics of Korean educational institutes and organizations have shown that uh, Korean citizens use actually 7.6% of their GDP on education levels, uh, which is significantly uh, greater than the 6.3% average rate of OECD countries. And the South Koreans' zeal and eagerness to uh, take education and the desire to go to prestigious university and have a prestigious jobs is being seen as an opportunity to uh, opportunity for a pride for their families and a opportunity for their for a great way to improve their social status. Considering our future education, instead of thinking about how we learn about knowledges and informations through uh, subjects. Mostly, I, I, in my perspective, I think that the education would be focusing on sharing and serving because nowadays the average intelligence and intelligence of learning and then the IQs are actually incre uh, gradually increasing and the expectations are so high that even though someone is very smart, they don't think those people are very smart. So they would be focusing on sharing and serving uh, education, which uh, goes along with the education of humanism. And with service, they would be foc the education would be focusing on the s serving others and through community service. And also they would be fo focusing on good manners through a, a, a social networks with digital citizenships and also environmental education as since uh, there are lots of there, there's lots of issues about environmental problems environmental education would be a great focus in the future education and also as technologies technology is improving day by day uh, IT would be IT would be a great focus on education thank you and this is my Thank you.